I'm gonna show you an easy trick for adding products or product lines to your Google business profile um, manually. Basically, if you're trying to integrate your products, you probably realize that having your products show up on your profile is pretty important. So just search your, your business name. You might need to search business name, city, state. Make sure you're logged into the Google business profile associated with your account. And then all you do is you go over here to the information that you've got and you go to edit products. Now you can see I don't have any products on here. Now the the easy way to do this without trying to pull off an integration or get software or like hardware to do it, just go get started. And then it really helps to add your products even if it's just manually, right? So. What I'm gonna do here um, is as an entertainment business, we have bounce houses. So instead of like finding a specific bounce house, I'm just gonna put bounce houses. So we carry bounce houses, right? That's a product line that my business has. I can create a category for it too. So I can put it in a category. I'm not gonna do that right now um, because again, that's probably more if you're integrating all of your products, but I could probably just put in something like um, perhaps, uh, party rentals, right? So I'm just gonna have three categories. I'll have party rentals, event rentals, and wedding rentals maybe. Um, there's three categories, right? So I can put in the price, that's optional. And then product description. So I wrote a product description for my bounce houses here. So just got a product description, I'm gonna paste that in. Um, landing page, so it would make sense to, if I have that product on my website, um, to link right to that product on my website, I put that link here. And then select a photo, so I'm just gonna upload this picture of the bounce house that I have. And now I've got it uploaded, and I just click publish. And so now what's gonna happen is I'm going to have a product on my profile. So you can see here, now I have bounce houses, and it's just pending approval, right? And once that's there, it's gonna show up just like these companies that I showed in the other video. Now they've added their product lines to their Google business profile. So it's helping them to get more visibility for those products, even without having to do a full integration uh, with Google business profile, which can be technical or confusing and integrate all their products. You can just manually add your products this way and just kind of break it down into product lines that make sense for you. And, uh, and just add general, like we sell bounce houses, I would maybe do table and chair rentals as another, um, as another uh, type of product. And I'm not putting the specific chair or the specific table or the specific bounce house, but my customers now, when they see my profile, will see in that product section, the products that I have, and they'll get a sense, see if it's loaded yet, should load soon. Um, but they'll get a sense right there on the profile because it'll show up right in this section of the types of products that I have for rent at my local business. Just like this, this retail store has the types of products that you can expect to find there. So that's a much easier way to just basically get your products in there without having to go through the complicated process of integrating a full online product catalog, but you still get a good deal of benefits.